I sat in a seminary testimony meeting many years ago now in Salt Lake City. I had the pleasure of conducting and turning testimony time to them. I asked them to do one thing, not for me, but for themselves. I said, if no one stands immediately, and this was a group of high school young people, do yourselves the favor of not feeling uncomfortable. Don't stand because the time is wasting. <clears throat> stand because you feel like it. And if no one stands, sit and think and be grateful. A time passed and no one did speak. Then a boy stood, already shedding tears, a rugged, manly man, one of the leading athletes in Salt Lake City, a student body president, a very attractive human being. He didn't talk well through his tears, but what he said was significant. He said, I've been out in left field and then some recently, and moving farther away. I've been going against the basic convictions of my whole life and all my training. And I've been doing it deliberately, almost uh, diabolically. Recently, a friend of mine came to me. He'd been a teacher of mine once. He said, look, call him Bob, which wasn't his name. I can't make your decisions for you. I can't take your little hand and kiss the delight of the Lord into you. I can't do anything for you but what I'm trying to do, and that's this. You're in the wrong path, going the wrong direction. You know it and I know it, but there doesn't seem to be much anybody can do about it. And you won't. Do something for yourself, will you? And if you won't do it for yourself, then do it for me. I'd rather have you do it for yourself. Before you go to bed, every night, whatever time you come in and whatever you've been doing, will you open the Book of Mormon and read one chapter any place and then get on your knees and ask God if this is not his holy word? Do that one thing. I, uh, there are many things I'd like to say to you, but you're not prepared to listen. But do that for yourself, and if not for yourself, for me. Well, he did it. And he stood there that day to bear witness that he had found out clearly whether or not God does speak and has spoken and that this is his word. And this had given him the spirit and the strength to resist the path he'd been on. Both of these young men experimented with the word. Anyone who truly desires to prepare themselves may perform the same experiment with exactly the same results. If the experiment does not succeed, it can only be that the conditions of the experiment were not met. Music